is Brittany from Hand to Mind. This is our kindergarten teach at home math video series. This is week four, day five. So the other day we talked about problems called separating problems, where we had an amount and we took some away. Well, today we're gonna work on that, but we're gonna use our 10 frames to work on that idea. So for example, we might start with eight things and then we're going to take two away. And what happens when we do that? We have six. So come join me today as we work with our 10 frames on working on differences from 10. So today we're going to begin by looking at a story. And we're gonna begin by reading. And so what I'm gonna have you do is you can follow along with me or you can read out loud as I read it. We're gonna start at the top. Brent's yard had nine trees. He had to cut down two of the trees. How many trees are in Brent's yard now? So as a mathematician, we always wanna start by making sure that we understand the problem. And so who or what is this problem about? It's about Brent. And what do we wanna know? It's about Brent and these trees. And what do we wanna know about Brent and these trees? We wanna know how many trees he has in his yard now. What information were we given? We know that he had nine trees and we know that he cut down two of them. So to begin, we wanna show how many trees he started with. So if you have some counters or a 10 frame in a 10 frame at your house, you can use that. If you don't, then you can follow along with us. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna show how many we started with. So we started with nine trees. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now we have nine trees. And then what happened in the story? What happened in the story? We had nine trees and then what happened? We cut down two. So two of those trees went away. So to show that, I'm going to cross them out. I'm just gonna cross those two out. So now can you tell me how many trees Brent has in his yard now? How many did you say? Did you say seven? Yes, he has seven trees in his yard now. How do you know it's seven? How many of you saw five in this frame and were like, well, I already knew five, and then you had these two. So maybe six, seven, so five, six, seven. Yeah, that's a way to know that there's seven is by looking at that. How many of you just counted all of them? You went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's also a way that you could do that. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to be talking about subtracting from 10. And so the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a game. And the way this game is going to go is we're always gonna start with a 10 frame of 10 counters. And then we're gonna roll the dice and that's gonna tell us how many counters we need to remove. And then I'm gonna do the same thing and whoever has the greater difference, which is the answer to a subtraction problem, is going to get a point. That's how we're gonna keep score, okay? So here we go. So I'm gonna roll my dice. It's gonna tell me, boom. So it told me to remove how many? Three. So we have our 10 counters, and now we're going to remove three of them, okay? I'm gonna remove three. So one, two, three. So how many do I have left? Did you say seven? Yeah, so I have a difference of seven. So really I could write that 10 minus three equals seven, okay? Now, it's going to be your turn. There's yours or it's my turn actually, and I'm gonna roll my dice. So here we go and stop. Oh, I got three. Okay, one. Oh, actually I got four. One, two, three, four. 
So what's my difference? So I have 10 and I, we removed four and how much do I have left? Six. So remember, the way we're gonna score is whoever has the largest difference. So is seven more than six? It sure is. So the score is you one, me zero. Okay, so now we're gonna do it again. So you're starting with your 10. Do you have your 10 at home showing? Okay, let's roll the dice. Let's see what you're gonna have to remove. And stop. Oh, okay. So how many do you have to remove? Six. So remove six. So you can either remove your counters or you can draw and you can cross off six. So how many counters do you have left? Did you say four? Yeah. So you had 10, we subtracted six, and that left you with four. Nice job. Okay, so my turn. Okay, here we go. And stop. Ooh, okay. It says I have to remove two. Okay. So how many do I have left? Did you say eight? Because you have a row of five, six, seven, eight? Yeah. So 10 minus two equals eight. Let's look at our differences. You had four, I have eight. So what does that mean? It's whoever has the larger or the greater. Which one's greater? Eight is greater than four. So the score is you won, me won. Okay, we're tied. Here we go. It's your turn. Here we go. And stop. Okay, you have to remove five. So let's remove five. One, two, three, four, five. So how many is that? 10 minus five leaves you with five. Good job. Leaves you with five. Okay, my turn. So here we go. Ready and stop. Five. So one, two, three, four, five. So what was that? When you have 10 and you remove five, what do you get? You have five left because you only have that one row of five, just like you did, right? So is five greater, less, or equal to each other? Well, it's equal. And the way you got a point is we had to be greater. So neither one of us got a point, okay? So here's the score. You are one. Me is one. We'll have to see. Let's see who wins. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Okay, and stop. Oh, you only have to remove three. One, two, three. So what's your score? 10 minus three is seven. You have a score of, I mean, you're, you have a difference of seven, not a score. You have a difference of seven, okay? Here we go. Ready and stop. Oh, I got two. So what does that mean? How many did I have? 10 minus two gives me eight. So my difference is eight. So whose is greater? Is eight or seven? Eight is greater. So what does that mean? It means my score, you got one, and my score was two. Oh, well this time I won. We'll have to play again next time, so you'll have to come and see me another time so we can play again, play each other again. So let's just make sure that we know what we're working on here. So we're gonna do one more activity just to make sure that we understand what we're working on. So here is the problem we're gonna work. There were nine backpacks hung on hooks. Children took seven of the backpacks home. How many backpacks are left on the hooks? So 
Who or what is this about? Well, it's about children and some backpacks. And what do we want to know about children in these backpacks? Well, we want to know how many are left on the hooks. So what information were we given? That there were nine backpacks and the children took seven of them home. So we're looking for what's left. Okay, so I want you to solve that problem. So I want you to start with what, how many they were hanging on the backpack on the hooks, which was nine. So start with that. And then do the action of what happened next. They took seven of them. So did you do something like this? They started with nine backpacks, right? There's my nine. How do I know that's nine? Because this is a 10 frame, there's one less. Then what happened? They took how many? Seven. They took seven. So I'm actually going to take these five because I know five and two is seven. And I'm left with this many, which is two. So what did I just do? Nine minus seven equals two. So today we've been talking about subtracting from 10 or less in some instances. And so we're, if you would like to continue this skill and continue to reinforce it, go to handtomind.com where you can find more activities to go along with this. Hope you all have a great rest of the day.